Well, here's my trip to Dalicias, Mexico. Okay, I am off uh, from Chihuahua, headed to a town called Elicias. Uh, it's very close to delicious, but it's about an hour, hour and a half bus ride, and these buses are really, really, really nice. Videos for YouTube. Ah, it's okay, See. man. Hey, Flasco y Madero número 11. Okay, I am almost at my Airbnb. Um, <laughs> Mi Bogamos por eso. So I just got to my Airbnb in Delicias. So uh, my Airbnb host is super, super friendly. He's uh, probably around my age. Uh, maybe a little bit younger, speaks pretty good English actually. And uh, we're gonna go hit up a sports bar here in a little bit. But um, so this was uh, including tax about 30 bucks for the night. So um, it's in a nice near, nice uh, neighborhood. And oh, let's see what the bathroom looks like. Oh, that's actually pretty nice. Uh, I think these were all just remodeled all the ones that he has. So um, anyway. Tomorrow I'm going to be going out and there's a supposed to be a paleontology uh, museum. So a dinosaur museum that's brand new here. That's supposed to be really, really great, which is the main reason why I came. So um, I'm kind of a little bit of a nerd uh, when it comes to anthropology. I do like dinosaurs, so this will be cool. And uh, I'm kind of a space nerd. So um, anyway, I'll be showing those tomorrow and hopefully you'll get a chance to see uh, a little bit of what these off the off the beaten path cities in Mexico are really like. So I'm here in Delicias, and uh, Brian, uh, my, my my new buddy here. Nice to meet um, you. He showed me this awesome bar. So we're gonna sit down, and have a couple of drinks. So we got a Michigan flag, a Georgia flag, and a Cowboys flag here. So no no Auburn flags, but this is a really really cool bar. Yeah, really good. Yeah. Really good. Sweet home Alabama. Woo! I mean, I want you to listen to this great music they're playing in here. I think I may have found my favorite bar in all of Mexico. Mainly because my man back here has got a great appreciation for country music in the U.S. I'll enjoy this anyway. I thought this was gonna be uh, just like a really little town that I was in, uh, but it turns out that uh, it's actually, um, what is this? It's uh, actually much uh, much larger than that. It's like 150,000 people, which is, uh, <laughs> again, I thought it was going to like this little town that's like, you know, 10, 20,000 people maybe, but I was, uh, I was definitely wrong. So anyway, I'm uh, heading down the street right now. Uh, I'm gonna go to the Paleontology Museum today. And uh, I don't know. I'm just gonna kind of walk around and see see what's going on. It's like an hour walk there. So um, yeah. So I'm just gonna check out what the city is. So we're right in between Chihuahua and uh, Torreon, which I'm going to tomorrow. And uh, I'm definitely about to eat some lunch. So I'm gonna go try to find me some tacos. Okay, so I am in luck. Um, here I'm having some uh, tacos barbacoa. Is uh, con salsa es muy picante or no? Pues la salsa la verde la es la que no pica mucho. Es mucho. No y está así. Ah, okay. Perfecto. So one thing in Mexico is you always have to ask about how spicy the salsa is because if you don't, it can be a big mistake. All right, so I've got 
Seis, uh, tacos barbacoa, key. And so I'm about to chow down. Where are you from? Though? Where am I from? In uh, Alabama, in the U.S. Habla inglés? Let's hear it. Okay, my name is... Let me, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me hear your English. Hola, mamacitas. So a little on fact about the dinosaurs, a lot of people are still, well, they existed first off because we, we found tons and tons of fossils around the world. But actually, uh, one of the crazy things is most scientists now believe that the meteorite that actually destroyed the dinosaurs probably hit right off of what's called Veracruz, Mexico, which is also the place where uh, Cortez and his men uh, from Spain actually came to Mexico. So. All right, so I am headed to, apparently I got the, the cities wrong, or the museums wrong on which one was the uh, brand new one. Uh, but I'm riding here with Mi Amigo, and we're heading to uh, the Museo de Desert Es Desert, Desert, el Museo? No, está lejos todavía. Sí, es el Museo de Desert Desierto. Desierto, okay. thing I find very, very interesting, uh, and I've talked to some people about this, is if you read this, uh, almost 94,000 uh, people over five years of age speak some indigenous language. So it's one of the things that a lot of people don't understand about Mexico, is there's still 64 unrecognized, or excuse me, unrecognized unre indigenous languages here spoken outside of just Spanish. So it's a country that still has a lot of people who speak indigenous languages. So one thing that's very interesting is the city of Delicias was actually founded part of a Mexican federal project uh, actually making what's called the Conchos National Irrigation System. I hope I said that right. And so that project was actually to benefit the people in northern Mexico and help set up irrigation and canals to help out the farming in the area. So the Chihuahuan Desert actually spreads all the way here. De Delicias is actually kind of in the middle of it. Uh, spreads as far south as uh, San Luis Potese in Mexico and goes as far north as uh, Texas and also Arizona in the United States. It's actually the largest desert in all of uh, North America. So why I am a huge anthropology nerd, and I would like to spend a lot of time talking about this, I'm gonna you know, keep this to travel, but if you are in Delicias and you, and you like anthropology, please stop by and just stop by this museum and check this out again. We're at the Museo, Museo de Deserito. And this just gives a great rundown of how we went from primate to, these are our early primates here, uh, originated, originated in Africa, uh, to what, you know, our closest known ancestor, which is Homo erectus. 
uh, and the Neanderthals that both went extinct about 20 to 30,000 years ago. So what we are now is Homo sapiens uh, or Homo sapiens sapiens, depending on how you want to define uh, our species now. But anyway, it's really great. I definitely recommend it. Um, I'm going to get some more footage of this museum, but it has been really, really, really good. freaking see this thing could you imagine like today walking out in the wilderness and running into this thing Are you kidding me